Welcome to the PEP comprehension series using the taxi comprehension strategy by yours truly, Monique Jackson Reynolds. This is an introductory lesson today before we begin the lessons grade by grade next week. As learners, it is important that you understand what you are being assessed on and the skills that you will need to be successful at mastering the levels that you are being tested on. Today, we'll be discussing PEP, critical thinking, ability tests, performance tasks, and curriculum-based tests. Then, I have a little surprise for you. Let's get started. What is PEP? If you are in grade four, five, or six, you should know that the abbreviation PEP means Primary Exit Profile. This profile is created as you complete national tests and performance tasks in each of your upper school primary grades. The results will help to measure your strengths and weaknesses in the subject areas mathematics, language arts, social studies, and science. These results help to show how ready you are to enter high school. To master tests and tasks in all these subject areas, you must be able to think critically. So what is critical thinking? The term critical thinking is the objective analysis and evaluation of an issue in order to form a judgment. And this is by Lewis 2018. When we say an issue, we usually mean a problem. So we are really talking about the ability to assess a difficult situation and produce a sensible solution. What are ability tests? Ability tests require students to read analytically and use quantitative, which are measurable, reasoning skills in responding to items. It will not be assessed on the curriculum, and this is according to the Ministry of Education, Youth and Information, 2017. What are performance tasks? Performance tasks consist of real-world scenarios that will require students to apply their knowledge and skills to mathematics, science, language arts, social studies, they will be administered in grades four and five and six. So what about curriculum-based tests? Curriculum-based tests assess grade content only, mathematics, science, social studies, and language arts. These tests will consist of multiple choice items along with other item types. It will be administered usually in term three. Now here's my surprise. Based on the information we just discussed, let's have a little pop quiz. You can pause the video, grab a notebook and a pencil, and try to write your answers. You can also go back in the video to where you think the answers may be. So number one is, who is expected to do the PEP tests? After you write your answers, you can type your comments in the box below this video. And we can start a discussion online among all of you who are students. Number two. What is the meaning of the last letter in PEP?
Number three, which test assesses content only? Number four, where can you find more detailed information about PEP? And lastly, number five, why use quantitative reasoning skills in responding to items in ability tests? Get involved now. Share your answers in the comment section below this video. Read other comments and have friendly debates on your responses. What's next? Up next, we're going to be looking at the Taxi Comprehension Strategy in detail. Sign into YouTube with an email address, then subscribe to this channel for updates on new videos, access to worksheets, and prizes from sponsors.